The events on January 6th, make no mistake about it, were not a spontaneous de demonstration. President Trump invented the lie that motivated these criminals. He exhorted them to come to Washington. He then directed them at the U.S. Capitol, and his demagoguery whipped them into a frenzy. We need to set a precedent that the severest offense ever committed by a president will be met by the severest remedy provided by the Constitution impeachment and conviction by this chamber, as well as disbarment from future office. In the 230 years the House of Representatives impeach, has impeached the, the President of the United States only twice. In just the past 13 months, it has impeached the pre President Trump twice more. President Trump is a threat to our constitutional order, whether he is in or out of office. Even now, he has not accepted responsibility for what he has done and still falsely maintains that the election was stolen. Once he leaves office, do we really expect him to change his tune and accept the truth? Of course not. He will continue spreading lies about the election and stoking the grievances of his most radical supporters, using the prospect of a future presidential run to poison the public arena at a time when we must get so much done. After what he has done, the consequences of which we were all witness to, Donald Trump should not be eligible to run for office ever again. All of us want to put this awful chapter in our nation's history behind us. But healing and unity will only come if there is truth and accountability, not sweeping such a severe charge such awful actions under the rug. So let me be clear. There will be an impeachment trial in the United States Senate. There will be a vote on convicting the president for high crimes and misdemeanors. And if the president is convicted, there will be a vote on barring him from running again.